Welcome to the 84th annual New York Daily News Golden Gloves Championships. We're at the theater at Madison Square Garden for another night of the finals action. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Daily News Golden Gloves Finals. I'm Sam Rose, along with boxing analyst Kathy Burke, former middleweight contender John Duddy, and tonight the women take center stage, or the center of the ring, and one of the best women to ever compete. Christina Cruz is here tonight, four-time Golden Gloves champion and an Olympic hopeful and looking to be rated as one of the best in the world, Kathy. And if I'm allowed to have a favorite in the tournament, it would be <laughs> Christina. I am just so impressed that she is so busy and dedicated to being one of the top amateurs in the sport, looking to go to the Olympics and the travel that she has had to do and then come back in between. She's fitting in the Golden Gloves because they're very, very important for her. So I'm rooting for her all the way. She grew up here in Hell's Kitchen just a few blocks away. As we mentioned, four-time Golden Gloves champion, qualified for the 2011 Pan Am Games, an Olympic hopeful. She's been traveling around the world to compete in tournaments. Cruz has fast hands too. That was a quick three punch combination again. So she's throwing three against her opponents too. Spence throwing the right hand on the break. That's good work by Cruz. Nice and fast, nice and light in their feet, circling all the time, not going straight back. Of all of our female boxers, Cruz has always reminded me the most of a man in the ring. If you watch the way she moves in the ring, she looks like the guys we've been used to seeing. Very comfortable, very natural. Did Cruz show us a little alley shuffle there a little while ago? She did. <laughs> and she's a student of boxing. She knows boxing. A lot of women get into this. They've never actually watched a lot of boxing. She's always been a fan. Kathy, everything you expected from Cruz in this fight? Yes, and she's growing more confident as the fight goes on. I shouldn't look beyond this fight, but I can't wait to see her in the Olympics. All right, the different punches, different angles. Look at that one. Uppercut was beautiful. The body shots, it has all the leverage. She's just digging to the body. Right left combination of beauty. So what is she, I don't see her missing anything. She seems to have it all. Fourth and final round. Okay, let's go to Spence. What, John, what can Spence do here? I think Spence is going to have to step up the pressure and try and, and keep, just like she is right now, try and keep uh, Cruz running and, and stop through and uh, backing up. For Cruz again, not losing her cold, digging to the body. Oh, nice body shot by Cruz. That'll slow down Spence. Those body shots were solid. But Spence has a lot of guts. She, yeah. she has come forward the entire bout. Christina Cruz, 28 years old. Grew up in Hell's Kitchen, just a few blocks from Madison Square Garden. And has become an outstanding boxer. Here's the body work. You see the way she's digging on them shots and then switching it to the head? How about that straight right hand, Kathy? Everything looks perfect. I'm just so impressed. If I had to pick any woman to talk about it as a boxer, she would be the one. Outstanding performance. Well, you don't get a necklace like that there with not being good at what she does, and she certainly loves it. And with traveling the world, I think uh, we're going to see a lot more here of uh, Christina Cruz. Five will be her favorite number. From the world's most famous arena, we welcome you to the 83rd annual New York Daily News Golden Gloves Championships from the theater at Madison Square Garden. Good evening, everybody. I'm Kenny Albert, along with Kathy Burke and Tony Page. Women have been competing in the Golden Gloves since 1995, and Kathy, one of the best over the last three years in the 119-pound weight class, has been Christina Cruz. A lot of buzz about Christina Cruz. 
everyone is talking about the Olympics, and I think she's going to be our first female Olympic hopeful. Well, she's ranked number one in the nation at 119 pounds, and she has won the Golden Gloves Championship each of the last three years. She's probably one of the only women I remember praising on the air, the whole crew, because she's the total package. Strong right hand there, but she has great movement, great head movement, and she shows defense as well as offense. A look at 30-year-old Julie Ann Kelly, who Kathy Burke looks to defend her championship here tonight. I'll tell you, she is a champion just for defeating her cancer. Yes. She went through that. She has such a good outlook, and you couldn't look at anyone that looks healthier than her. So we get ready for Camille Curry and Julie Ann Kelly. Here is the ring announcer, Kevin Van Meter. Oh, big right by Kelly. Just look at just a, a piston like in there, just throwing punches after punches. She hits Curry, and Curry goes wider with her punches after she gets hit. Right now, Kelly is absolutely the aggressor. There are five judges tabulating the punches that connect. So Curry's throwing punches to the body with absolutely nothing on them. You know, remember with this amateur scoring. And when we're saying there's nothing on the punches, a punch yeah, is a punch. Yeah. And um, we've been fooled by a lot of scoring because we might see one person being knocked across the ring, mm -hmm. and, and that punch is the same as these taps that we're seeing. It's funny, it's, if you throw it slow, everybody sees it. Yeah. As long as the punch connects, it counts. You throw the most punches that connect throughout the course of the bout, you win. I gave both rounds to Kelly, but I'm always leery of that because I do see those other punches. And if I'm a judge who has to sit there with a clicker, I, I have to click on the punches for Curry. You didn't bring a clicker tonight? I have no clicker. I don't have that coordination. <laughs> the mental clicker. I'm working a pen, a coffee, all this at the same time. <laughs> Midway through round three. A look at the clicker in the hands of one of the five judges. I'd love to know how many times I would click and say, oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that one. There's no erase button on there. <laughs> 